So I'm in the warehouse and I had a comment on YouTube um, about wastewater from dehues and such. And we aren't running a DHU currently in the tent right over here. You can see the controller. Um, but we do have AC running and there is wastewater for that. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing with that wastewater so that it's not waste. Um, and then some things to think about if you're gonna try to recycle your wastewater. So in other videos, um, I've shown we have a portable AC in here. It's 14,000 BTU. It's got that single uh, style hose where it sucks in and blows out from outside. Um, it's not perfect, but it does work pretty well. Um, but it does have a water waste hose. Um, and instead of wasting that water, we have decided to repurpose that water. So let's go see how we're doing that. So this is actually that wastewater hose coming out. This is between the wall and the tent. There's a little space here. And this is the outside west wall of the store. And that is going into this condescent pump. And then that is going up here. And we drilled it through the wall right there. And then this is the outside garden. This is the tomato bed. And you can see we have that wastewater coming out right here and dripping down right here so that it doesn't get wasted. And that's how we're handling um, trying to not waste the water um, from humidity coming out of our AC. So that's how we're using reusing the wastewater from our ACs for um, this tent. Now, things that I've seen happen when you reuse wastewater. Um, especially dehue water in a commercial grow, it's, it's, I think, very important to filter that water. I know you think that it's clean, it's from the air and blah, 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 but we have seen people run into issues that become phantom issues and they can't figure it out. And then they start filtering their wastewater and all of a sudden those issues go away. Um, so I would say if it, you're trying to reuse it in an indoor environment, um, growing cannabis especially, you want to filter that water. Um, with us, that's going outside. I don't see us having any issues because it's going outside and we're using it outside. Um, so for us, we don't feel like um, we're going to need to filter that water. Um, but I think it is important that more people look at reusing the wastewater from DHUs and ACs. And I'm glad that um, there was a comment about it and somebody brought it up because it does need to be um, talked about more and discussed more because we need to try to conserve whatever we can conserve and waste as little as possible because it's already quite a wasteful process from start to finish. Everything ends up ultimately in those little plastic pop top um, canisters that mostly don't get recycled. and. If you're hydro, that's in mylar bags. And anyways, that's a whole other discussion. But that's how we're handling the wastewater from our AC. Um, I didn't show any plants in this because I don't want it to get age restricted or anything like that. Not that I'm trying to teach children how to grow, but it gets uh, spread more in the algorithm if it's not age restricted. And I can also put it on our blog. If you haven't been to our blog, go to our website. And there's a fly on my hat, uh, redbudsoilcompany.com. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram. If you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. I actually posted a pretty funny video this morning that is very Oklahoma. Um, and if you have any comments, any questions about wastewater or reusing your wastewater, put them down below. And uh, let's just let's talk about it, get a discussion going. And uh, if you know you want to see me pop up on your YouTube more often, subscribe. See ya.